Hey, Nicole, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm curious, so we heard so much from Patty last, uh, last time we spoke with her about how the pitching staff has kind of come together through the fall and has really uh, you know, battled really well against your hitters. I'm curious, just from your perspective, what, what does that look like from you know, the, the pitching staff to kind of have that kind of off season? What's, what's the confidence like between the, the group that you have going? Um, I think, especially like compared to last year right now, like we feel very confident um, in all of like in ourselves, I guess, as pitchers, um, as a staff, like, I think throughout all of fall, like we were doing really good. Like, I don't know. I think we're heading to a really good place. We'll go to Ryan Aper. <clears throat> yeah, Nicole, I want to ask you about uh, one of the, those pitchers in particular, uh, Jordy. What, uh, what maybe is, is most remarkable to you about what you've seen uh, from her so far and uh, just what are your impressions of her? Um, I would say the biggest thing is probably her mindset. Um, she's pretty like mature, you know, for being a freshman. Um, not that I have that much to say, I'm only a sophomore, but um, her mindset is just like, like, let's go. It's like literally wake up softball, eat homework, re like repeat, like that type of thing. So. Uh, she's a grinder, and you can definitely see that on and off the field. So, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it, Nicole. Mm -hmm. We go to Eric Bailey. Nicole, you doing okay today? Yeah. Feels good to have just a game a couple days away. Is that pretty exciting? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <Wow. Hey. laughs> I want to ask you, just, you know, after an outstanding freshman year, not just you, but all the freshmen, to have the season that you guys had, a national championship, how do you avoid – how do you reset things, I guess, with the new season, new year? Uh, nothing comes easy. And what do you do as a collective group to, to make sure that the, the goal remains the same and you start fresh and it's a new year? Um, well, Coach has been talking a lot about, like, leaving it in the past. Like, we don't – like, we're not the same team and, you know, all of that. So we also, like, read a book as a team together, and um, a big concept was – looking at the past as like looking in a rear view mirror and you only go, you only look in that mirror to learn from the past and not to live in it. So we're not living in last year. We're, you know, like this is a new season. We're starting fresh in a couple of days. Like that's day one. So um, I think we're all understanding that mindset. So I don't think we're too caught up in all of what happened this year. And one more question personally, where do you want to see your biggest, growth from year one to year two what do you want to do better as a sophomore uh compared to last year um for me I think a lot of it is like learning more I feel like in the fall I learned a lot even like this year um so I'd say like learning um and then I don't know just I guess it's always been a goal but you just going out and like doing whatever I have to do to win or to help the team I feel like that's always a goal but yeah Perfect. Nicole, thanks so much. Good luck this week. Thank you. Go to Abby Bitterman. Yeah, Nicole, um, just first, really quickly, what was the, did you say the name of that book you guys read as a team? Uh, it's called What Drives Winning. All right, thanks. Um, and then, yeah, I was just wondering um, what, as, as a returner, what you guys are kind of hoping to see um, or looking forward to see out of the newcomers this weekend, especially against some uh, tougher opponents like you'll be playing? Um, I would say just like the competition side of it, like just compete. Like I feel like our team is at our best when we are competing. Um, and obviously we didn't play as many games against each other this year as we had to last season. But um, I know that some people, you know, we're getting sick of, Face, like for me, is facing our hitters over and over again, you know, and um, I know it's the same for hitters, pitchers. So I think we're just really excited to uh, play other teams and compete and see what we can do as a unit. We'll go to Jenny Carlson. Hey, Nicole. Um, I, I'm curious. I know because you only being a sophomore, only the one year of college experience, maybe you can draw on some of your 
um, high school or, or summer ball experience, but um, you guys have only, you know, hour, hour and a half away. One of your biggest competitors, not only as a rival in Oklahoma state, but one of the better teams in the country, you guys are both top five teams. Um, does that having them geographically close, um, there's always been good teams in the big 12. I know last year there were two, but to have another top team so close by, does that, does that change anything? Have you ever had that in your career where your maybe your biggest competition or one of your biggest, uh, you know, teams of competition is really close by. Does that change anything for a team? I don't think it changes anything for me. It definitely doesn't, you know, um, we get on a bus, no matter if it's an hour away, if it's six hours away, like we're going to compete and we're showing up like that's so whatever team it is I feel like that doesn't really it's not like in the back of my mind you know where it's like oh like they're just an hour and a half down the highway like no <laughs> I don't think anybody else does when when you talk about um measure uh, you know measuring sticks you guys are going to go play some top teams this weekend and i um, sort of in the same vein of things how much how much importance is that for you guys as a team to have these type of games, whether it's early in the season, mid season conference play where you have these, you know, top five, top 10 matchups uh, for you. What does that mean for this team? Um, I think it's really important to put like face these good teams early in the season. Um, I think that it'll reveal any weaknesses right away that, I mean, the quicker you see them, the quicker you can fix them. So um, I think that'll be good. Um, I think getting, like I was talking about before, like getting that, you know, competitive spirit amped up, like right now, like, I think, I think that'll be a good thing. Thank you, Nicole. Yep. Go to Ryan Chapman. Hey, Nicole, you kind of talked about on the field goals and things like that, but for you, Tiara, Jada, uh, what you guys did last year on the field, have you seen that? for you guys maybe translate into trying to step up as leaders and things off the field and, and how has that come along for you guys? Um, for me personally, I don't want to speak for them, but I feel like, I mean, we've been here like a year. I mean, it's only been a year, but I mean, we've been here, we understand like what's expected here. So I feel like a lot of it is helping out the freshmen and, you know, the newcomers, um, but I don't really see it as I'm personally not trying to like go up, like be up here. You know, it's not like, not like it's like that on our team or anything, but um, I feel like my perspective or on leadership, I guess, hasn't really changed that much. It's just helping people out if they need help or whatever it may be. Thank you. We'll go to Jason. Hey, Nicole. Um, so kind of two questions for you. Um, first thing, um, you know, Patty has kind of done these team exercises in the past um, where she's kind of wanted to instill a mindset in you guys um, prior to the start of a season or after a, a tough game. Um, I, I know you mentioned the, the, the title of the book was the, the words of winning, I think it was. Um, what were some of your takeaways from the book um, and, and what was Patty's mindset mindset and giving you guys um the book um I feel like it's more it was for me it was like a reset button um because you know I, and I also think it's good that we read it before we started so if there's times I know last year there's a lot of ups and downs on the downs like trying to figure out what to do or where to go from there can be kind of difficult um so you know I wrote down a lot of different notes um things that I can go back to later um just to kind of it's more of like a reset button, you know, like a lot of the book talk about a lot of the things that we already knew, but being reminded of that, I think was really, what was really important. Um, second question, um, you know, last year you were kind of the newcomer um, in the pitching staff. Um, now you're kind of um, the most tenured on the roster in terms of being on Oklahoma um, with newcomers like Hope um, and, you um, Jordy Ball, um, how are you kind of bringing them up to, to speed with the Oklahoma standard? Um, I think just it's not so much just in the pitching staff or in the bullpen or whatever. It's like the whole team. So I feel like the whole team's kind of lifting them up. Um, but I feel like in the bullpen or when we're pitching, it's like I'm not, you know, telling people what to do and stuff like that. It's just 
if they have a question about something like a lot of times me and Macy are like, like helping people out like they have a question about the way we do things like we're helping answering those questions so um I think it's just helping out when it's needed um yeah I will go to Joey Helmer hi Nicole how are you good um, yeah, I, I just want to ask about uh, Hope. Obviously, we talked about Jordy, but what does uh, Hope bring to your pitching staff and what have you seen from her so far this fall, mm -hmm. this spring? Yeah, um, I think kind of similar to Jordy is like her mindset. You know, she wants to win. She came here to win. Um, she's a competitor, and you can definitely see that when she's on the mound. So, I don't know, I'm really excited for what we're going to do this year. I think we're going to go last one for Nicole to Joe Bettner. Hey, Nicole, just wanted to ask you one more thing just about, you know, you, you mentioned kind of the evolution from last year to this year. And I'm curious, just during that time, you spent a lot of, uh, I would assume you spent a lot of time with Giselle Juarez and Shannon Sale. What do you, what did you learn from those two that just um, so many, you know, pitches between the two of them? Uh, what did you take away from them? Or did you, did you try to soak in as much as you could from the both of those pitchers? Yeah. Um, I learned a lot from them. I kind of, you know, surrounded myself a lot with them last year just to learn everything I could. You know, it was, I wasn't even supposed to be playing with them, but because of COVID, like I got that year with them and they got there last year. So um, I feel like a lot of the things or like the most prominent things that I remember or that I learned were a lot of mental things um, and then learning things about myself. So like I learned not to compare myself to them. Like there'd be times where I'm like, well, I'm not G Juarez, I'm not Shannon, but it's like, that's okay. Like I'm not supposed to be, you know? Um, and then a lot of things with, you know, I'd ask them, what do you think in this situation or bouncing ideas off? What pitch would you throw this girl? Or, you know, I'd have both of them like help me with certain pitches. Like my pitch, this pitch hasn't really been working. What do you think I should do? You know? So obviously we have Coach Rocha in there, but it's nice to be able to hear it from a teammate as well. Gotcha. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks a bunch, Nick. Thanks.